Welcome to everyone from across the world who've taken the time off their morning, afternoon, evening, or night, depending on where you are. Um, this is, of course, the second time we are getting together to listen to Bangladesh, to the voice of the affected communities. This time we are going to three coal power plant areas, Rampal, Paira, and Kohelia. And this is brought to us by um, a very good uh, two groups from Bangladesh. One, of course, is the Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt, and the other is Life and Nature Safeguard Platform. Um, the last time we listened in to those from the Matarbari coal power plant area, from the Borisal coal, coal power plant area, and the Eastern Refinery, the second um, oil storage place. Uh, Bangladesh Working Group, of course, is a loose forum of progressive development activists and organizations from all over Bangladesh that works to ensure, um, uh, you know, um, uh, that affected communities get their safeguards and that human rights defenders from, uh, you know, are defended from adverse impacts of development projects. Uh, LNSP, of course, is a human rights and ecological justice-based, non-political and social organizations which have um, uh, Supreme Court advocates uh, leading the fight. I am, of course, Vidya Dinkar, coordinator of Growth Watch and the president of INSAF, Indian Social Action Forum. Let's call upon uh, the member secretary of the BWGED, the Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt, Hassan Mehdi, who is really the prime promoter and proponent of such engagements where the international community listens um, to the grassroots uh, affected communities. Um, Mehdi, would you take it from here? Um, you ought to welcome us all on board. Thank you very much, Vidya. First of all, uh, we started these initiatives from our thinking that there, there is a need of global friendship between all of us who think that the development should be equitable, uh, confirming justice, and uh, towards a green world, towards a green earth. It's not, we are not destroying ourselves. So, you know, you are all with our journey uh, since the very first day, so you know what we are doing one after another. And, uh, we can't do it because you all are with us. Otherwise, it's, it has no value, it has no cause, no reason to do it. Uh, you, you already become, I think, a little bit bored to see me every day. So I'll take uh, less time uh, today just uh, to thank you, everybody. Thank you, Grothwas. Thank you, Vidya. Thank you, NSP. Thank you, everybody who are with us. Thank you, CEPR. Uh, change initiative, all of the organizations of BWGED and also other friends, uh, many, many friends from many, many countries. Thank you, everybody, for being with us. Uh, this is fun. Please, uh, we are, I'm, I'm cordially welcoming you here today. Thank you. Well, after all that round of thank yous in the very beginning, we'll go on to straight um, uh, to the area where the Kohelia power plant is. And uh, we have a group waiting from them. Kohelia, of course, is a 700 megawatt power plant situated uh, in the northern part of Matarbari Island. Uh, it's been, uh, the plant itself is co-sponsored by a Bangladeshi company called Coal Power Generation Company, Bangladesh Limited. CPG um, CBL, uh, a Japanese company, Mitsui and Company Limited, and a Singaporean company, Semco uh, Utilities Private Limited, SUPL. The Japanese financier, Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation, SMBC, as many of us know, um, has been appointed as the financial advisor while the Australian company. SMEC Holdings Limited is the engineering consultant. And then there's a German company, Fichtner Consulting Engineers Limited, appointing, uh, ha which has been appointed as the um, owner's engineer. Um, 
today, um, of course, it's the usual thing. We all mute our mics and turn off our cameras so that participants with low bandwidth can hear and see the speakers. And it's very, very important um, to hear and see these affected communities on the ground waiting to speak to you. Only the speaker's videos will be kept on throughout the session. There are problems with connectivity, so please bear with us. All the interpretation today, just like the other day, will be done by Farjana Akhtar Nibedita, a senior research fellow at CLEAN, which is Coastal Livelihood and Environmental Action Network. Um, please do not uh, record this webinar by any device for um, the safety and security of the affected community members that we're going to listen in today. Um, um, please, please do not record. Uh, of course, your comments are welcome in the chat box at the bottom of your screen. Put your questions there too. We will convey your questions uh, to the speakers you want to hear. Uh, our note takers, as usual, are um, uh, Sajjad Hussain Tuhin, Research Coordinator at CLEAN, um, and also uh, the Environmental Lawyers Association. Uh, sorry. No. <laughs> the Environmental Network, and Kunthal Roy from the Bangladesh Communications Associate Global Strategic Communications Council. Um, on to Kohelia now, and um, let's hear it from them. So uh, we will first listen to a who is an elected member of the Union Parishad um, and a person affected by the Kohelia project. My name is, uh, I am journalist, human rights and environment activist. The, is the my site and the winner of the damaged land. Uh, Mrs. Affected family member. Jobless, uh, affected family. Uh, I am talking about the Kohilia Coal Power Project before the acquisition of power plant land, 21 types of compensation we are Promoted as site, every person affected will be compensated and rehabilitated. The land will be given fair price. Everyone will be given work. I am in reality, it is not visible. The present Victims will be tell the details. I am now presenting the project brief, the slide on the slide. Location Kohelia Coal Power Plan nearby Kutubdi Island. Project details name of the project Matarbari Kohelia Coal Power Plan. Capacity 700 megawatt. Land acquisition 1350 acres. ESS category red, according ECR 1997 of Bangladesh, ESF, a sponsor company, coal power generation company, Bangladesh Limited, CGCBL, insurance company, undisclosed, implementer, coal power generation company, Bangladesh Limited, CPG. CBL and C and single food Sambokov EPC controller Mitsubishi Corporation Japan Indian Larson and Tumbru Limited India China engineer uh, engineering uh, energy engineering group company limited China base trip undisclosed project period undisclosed 12 sub vitamins old improved Imported CUD 
June 2025, financing Sumitomo Mitsu Banking Corporation SB, SMBC, is ESI a consultant, fictional company, German, key impact. Number one, faulty and intentional ESIA. Number two, public consultation denied. Number three, water logging. Number canal and river pollution. Number five, cumulative impact. Number six, livelihood diminished, diminished. Number seven, compensation. Thanks for your attention. Thank you all participants. Thank you, Shabuddin Bhai, uh, so much uh, for this brief on the project. Um, and now, uh, can we hear from the affected person? Assalamu alaikum. Matarbari Niyam Parishat, Mahashkali, Cox Bazaar. Mahashkali, Cox Bazaar. I am Kuhulia, Cool Power, Planter, Odigran Jomir Malik, Ebon Kodigasta Jomir Malik. I am Amar Puribar Shodacha, Arjun. আমি এই কুল পাওয়ার হওয়ার কোনো কথা শুনি নাই আমি 2015 সালে প্রথমে কয়লা বিদ্যুৎ নাম শুনি 2016 সালে ছয় দ্বারা সাত দ্বারা পাই আমার পিতার সাত আট একর জমি আছে আমার পরিবারের আমি ওই টাকাগুলো ওই এলু শাখা সরকার যে টাকাগুলো নির্ধারণ করছে ওই টাকাগুলো আমি এলু শাখা থেকে পাই আর এলু অফিসে ক্ষতিপূরণের টাকা উত্তোলনের জন্য আমাদের অনেক কষ্ট পেতে হয়েছে এখনো কষ্ট পাচ্ছি আর যে প্রতি 21 ক্যাটাগরি যে ক্ষতিপূরণ দেওয়ার কথা আমরা এখনো পাইনি যা পেয়েছি এটা আমাদের খুব ন্যূনতম এটা আমাদের জন্য খুব দুঃখজনক আর আমি আরো বলতে চাই আমাদের ওই কোহলিয়া প্রকল্পের কারণে আমাদের শ্রমিক আমরা এই মৎস্য চাষ আর লবণ চাষ আর ওই চিংড়ি ওই কাঁকড়া ওইগুলো আমরা করতাম এখন কুল পাওয়ার ওই কোহলিয়া কুল পাওয়ারের কারণে এই সব আমরা হারিয়েছি আর পাশাপাশি ওই শ্রমিক যেগুলো লবণের মাড়ের মধ্যে শ্রমিক নিয়োগ হয় ওই শ্রমিক শ্রমিকরা বেকার আর ওই লবণগুলা যখন আমরা আমদানি করি তখন ওই লবণের শ্রমিকরা লোড আনলোড করে ওই শ্রমিকগুলো এখন বেকার আর লবণ ওই গ্যাপ টলার লবণের টলার ওই টলারগুলো এখন আমাদের বেকুলিয়া যে নদীটা আছে এই নদীটা ওই কুহুলিয়া কুল পাওয়ারের কারণে ওই নদীটা বরাট হয়ে গেছে এই ডেজার দিয়ে যে কুল পাওয়ারে বালু বরাট হয় ওই বালুর ওই কাদা যেগুলো পানি আছে ওই পানিগুলো যখন ওই নদীতে যায় তখন নদীটা নদীগুলো ওই কাঁচা ওই কাদা পানিগুলো যাওয়াতে ওই নদীটা বরাট হয়ে গেছে ওই নদীটা ওই পরিষ্কার করতে হবে আর পাশাপাশি আমাদের ওই পশ্চিমে যে বিগ একটা চর আছে ওই চরের মধ্যে আমাদের অতিথি পাখি আছে আর ওই কচ্ছপ আর এগুলো এখন আসতেছে না এগুলা হুম আমার কথা শুনতে পাচ্ছেন হ্যাঁ শুনতে পাচ্ছি ভাই এগোন তাই আমরা এখন অনেক অসহায় আর কুল পাওয়ারের কারণে আমাদের ওই জল জলোচ্ছ্বাস আর বেরিবাত বেরিবাত আর যেগুলো ওই প্লাবিত হয় প্লাবিত হয়ে গেছে আমাদের অনেক লোক এখন অসহায় আমাদের জনগণ এখন অসহায় আমাদের শ্রমিকেরাও এখন অসহায় আমাদের কর্মহারা আমাদের অনেক কিছু চলে গেছে 
এই কোল পাওয়ারের কারণে আমরা ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত আমরা ক্ষতিপূরণ যতভাবে আমরা ক্ষতিপূরণ পাই নাই সেই জন্য আপনাদের কাছে আমি আবেদন করছি আমরা ক্ষতিপূরণ শীঘ্রই পাওয়ার জন্য আমরা এখন ওই এলুসা আমরা যে একটা এনজিও আছে এনজিও ড্রপ ওইখান থেকে আমরা টাকাগুলো পাওয়ার জন্য পেতে গিয়ে আমরা অনেক হয়রানি হচ্ছি ওই এখন মাত্র একটাই ক্ষতিপূরণ আমরা পেয়েছি ওইটাই আমাদের গ্রহণযোগ্য নয় আর রাস্তা আমাদের আরো একটা দুঃখজনক আজকে আমাদের একটা ওই যে যেটা আমাদের মেন রাস্তা আছে ওই রাস্তার মধ্যে আর একটা আজকে একটা সাত আট বছরের একটা ছোট্ট বাচ্চা আজকে অ্যাক্সিডেন্ট করছে এই গন্ডার দুই গন্ডায় আগে যে কারণে অ্যাক্সিডেন্টটা হয়েছে কুল পাওয়ারের যে আমাদের রাস্তাটা আছে সেই রাস্তাটা হলো একদম ছোটো যার কারণে কুল পাওয়ারের বড় বড় গাড়ি যায় যার কারণে আমাদের ছোটো ছোটো গাড়ি যাওয়ার একটা জাম পড়ে পড়ে যায় সে কারণে আজকে এই দুঃখজনক বিষয়ে একটা ছোট্ট বাচ্চা মারা গেছে থ্যাংক ইউ Asha, uh, so um, an elected member of um, the um, local body is clearly very unhappy is clear uh, sorry uh, so the local member obviously um, Abdul Rauf is very unhappy with the way the project has gone forward and uh, how it has treated the affected people and he described this incident um, just of earlier today where a little child was killed because of the bad road because of the work um, uh you know ongoing uh, so nibedita will tell us more about what he's meant. so um, has very specific demands and therefore uh, i ask nibedita to please translate everything he said yeah uh, okay i'll try uh, he said he has eight family members and he said that they were the villagers the locals were never consulted and he first came to know about this power plant in 2015 and the company started uh, the land acquisition in 2015 and the compensation they have received um, is not adequate it's very poor and they were promised to be given the compensation in 21 categories uh, which so far i understand each and every property that uh, were under their possession should be compensated properly but they are only been compensated for their land which is also not adequate they had their small business fisheries uh, salt cultivation uh, shrimp farming uh, and crab farming uh, that those were their uh, major livelihoods which are completely lost due to this power plant uh, lots of people are jobless in this area uh he mentioned the river has lost its navigability and it is uh, completely not completely almost impossible to uh, for the for the water vehicles and um you the, there used to uh, come the migratory birds and migratory tortoises but recently they are not seeing them anymore and they demand the compensation as they deserve uh he mentioned uh, an accident recently uh, and he mentioned that it is it happened due to the heavy vehicles which is not fit for the roads that they had they have in their area and he lives near the project uh, where he they they are suffering for a uh, huge water logging and this water logging is caused by the power plant uh, because it has blocked the drainage system and uh, i think he wanted to say that it has blocked the uh, the the uh, the flood water uh, uh, the uh, canals uh, the water gate which is which drain the flood water and also rain water uh, from the locality to the into the river so which is blocked so they are suffering from huge water logging so this is pretty much what you mentioned i think thank you thank you nibedita and thank you uh, abdul rauf um akhon um, now we will listen to uh, he is also an affected uh, landowner in matarbari um and let's hear it from 
लवन शाष्टीस गर्भवती मानुष बेकार जिन द्रव्यदी मूल्य दिन दिन बेड़े चले जलबद्धतारिशुद्ध पानी पाचेना सठीक मत खबर जलबद्धतार कारण बेहाल दशार कारण बर्षा हम से पानी जमे जाए पानी जमे जा रास्ता घाटे विभिन्न गाड़ी घोड़ा जैम हो जाए आज के शिशु मृत्युबरण कर जैम कारण विभिन्न प्रकार अतिथि पाखी कसिम विभिन्न जेले जरा जेले आ कलहबाद घटते घटार दिन दिन चले जाएंगे पानी ढुके विभिन्न घर बाड़ी विभिन्न घर बाड़ी पानी तलिए जाए तलिए जा रिक्शा चला तो रिक्शा चलते लवन शासी 
বহন করে তাদের টাকা আয় রোজগার করত আয় রোজগারের পথ এখন সব বন্ধ আর জলবদ্ধতার কারণে আমাদের স্কুলের ছাত্র ছাত্রীগণ ঠিক মতো তারা বিদ্যালয়ে যাইতে পারতেছে না মাল্টিনেশনাল প্রজেক্ট উইথ পিপল ইন দ্য প্রজেক্ট ফ্রম অ্যাক্রস দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড পুশিং দিস প্রজেক্ট অ্যান্ড ইয়ে দে ক্যান নট এড্রেস দি কনসার্ন অফ দ্য কমিউনিটি ফর জানা আখতার নিবেদিতা কুড ইউ ট্রান্সলেট ওয়াট Said. Yeah, uh, he say, she said that um, she is one of the affected families in this area and um, she has eight family members in, his, in her family and one of them is only earning person who has lost the job. They had the shrimp farming and uh, the salt cultivation but now they are jobless. the roads and uh, she mentioned about the water logging which caused the severe sufferings uh, for the low uh, and uh, with their roads and everything and uh, the she she mainly raised the issue through a women's perspective and she mentioned that the women cannot Uh, even uh, visit to the community health care uh, during their labors. So the child mortality rate and maternal death has increased in this area. She mentioned few drowning incidents of which uh, all of them are child, children. And uh, she also raised a very severe, a very uh, important issue that uh, the locals are not being employed in this problem. people from different areas are coming here with a job and they're taking the advantage of the area they're marrying the girls uh, in this in this area and when the project is over they're getting back to their area and the girls are uh, left behind uh, she also mentioned the community prize has uh, risen uh, huge so the Uh, people uh, in this area cannot afford uh, proper food for their children. So the malnutrition has become a problem in this area. He also mentioned that due to the water logging problem, the sanitation and drinking water is uh, very rare in this area. He also, she also said that Kohelia, the, the power plant is named after the river Kohelia and that very river is now uh, almost to death. And he, she mentioned the, about the domestic violence, uh, which um, uh, because of the joblessness and the, uh, the, 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 the women uh, are facing domestic violence because the only one and only earning members in their family are not earning anymore. They're jobless. Children are um, not going to the schools uh, due to the water logging problem and due to the poverty. So that is pretty much what she mentioned. Thank you. Thank you, Nibedita. Uh, and from um, the Kohelia coal power plant site, um, because this can only be a, um, a kind of introduction and, and then we have to say our goodbye, we go towards Pyra coal power plant. and uh, which is a um, 1320 megawatt coal power plant uh, situated in the area adjacent to the newly developed Pyra seaport. Uh, it's co-sponsored by a Bangladeshi power company called Northwest Power Generation Company Limited. Uh, and also a Chinese company, China National Machinery Import and Export Corporation, uh, CMC. Other Chinese companies such as China Northeast Electric Power Gen Engineering and Services Company Limited and uh, China in Energy Engineering Corporation as also China National 
Energy Engineering and Construction Company Limited a work as the EPC contractor of the power plant, while China Exim Bank is financing the project. An Indonesian company, PT Bayan Resources TBK, is supplying the coal for the project, and a German company, Oldendorf Carriers um, Germany, is transporting it from Indonesia to Pira Port. Uh, well, um, UK cannot be left behind and therefore HSBC is financing uh, the port development. Uh, for Kohelia, we will listen to, of course, uh, the affected people and, um, uh, uh, sorry, not Kohelia, Pyra. Uh, for the Pyra coal power plant, we listen to the affected people. Um, but I think it would be interesting and most um, uh, most illuminating for most of us if we got in our heads what Pyra um, is actually because really the Pyra coal power plant is just one part of the whole and most of us you know push for cumulative um, impact assessment studies we say just looking uh, at one independent uh, industrial unit coming up in a place is not enough we talk of carrying capacity cumulative impact studies and therefore if Hassan Mehdi, you could tell us as to um, give us an idea of the Pyra power hub, and then we can go on to a brief of the project that Aparijita Sangeeta uh, will give us. Mehdi, first. You thank have you. about two minutes, Mehdi. Uh, thank you, Vidya. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish it within one or two minutes only. I'll try it. Uh, just Should one second yeah, yeah because because <laughs> because uh, you know pyra power hub is a complex issue so i am i'm going to give you a little bit uh, very short about pyra hub uh, it's uh, just go from the from the bottom uh, it's uh, pyra in pyra power uh, hub there is a first uh, shinakalan shongsta is going to build pyra potuakhali uh, shinakalan shongsta 1320 megawatt power plant then United Group is going to establish a, a 150 megawatt LNG power plant. Then Bangladesh China Power uh, Company Limited, which is uh, formed, newly formed, uh, with Northwest Power Generation Company Limited, and uh, Chinese CMC, it's called BCPCL, Bangladesh China Power Company Limited. They are going to uh, establish two power plants of 1320 megawatt. Then this, this Bangladesh China Power Company Limited is uh, establishing another 50 megawatt wind power plant. Then with Northwest Power Generation Company Limited and Siemens Germany is going to establish another Siemens uh, Bangladesh Northwest Power Company Limited, SBNPL. They are going to establish a 3,600 megawatt LNG power plant. Then Ashugan's Power Company Limited and Chinese uh, China Energy Engineering Corporation, CEC, they are jointly formed Ashugan's CEC Power Company Limited, SCPCL. They are going to establish a two power plant of 1320 megawatt. Then Rural uh, uh, Power Company Limited, which is uh, Bangladesh Rural Electrification Board under, they have formed uh, RNPL, RPCL Norinco Power Company, uh, which is going to establish two more coal power plant of 1320 megawatt. Then total, and there is, you know, on the right side, you can see the, uh, the Pyra, Pyra port, which has taken almost almost uh, 8,935 megawatt, uh, five uh, acre of land. So totally, it's uh, in three unions, there are 1,976 acres of land, 16 villages in 300, three unions. And already uh, these power plants have taken uh, 12,705.62 uh, acres of land. And they are going to uh, you know, uh, produce around 13,000 megawatt of power from a single power hub. Uh, you know, then this, uh, our community uh, people will talk on this, but uh, they will, uh, you know, sometimes they will say that Pyra, they will say uh, it's uh, Northwest, they will say Ashugans, they will say Rural Power Company, they will say like, uh, uh, what's called Shenakalan Shosta. So, so that, then you can make a relation between the uh, here the structure okay so for that reason i i presented this thing
Thank you very much. No, I think it was very important that you gave us the spread of what is happening. And I think um, it clears our minds. And of course, it prepares us for what we are going to hear, uh, which of course is very, very worrying. Uh, somebody who will give us um, a brief on the project that we are looking at today, the Pyra coal fire plant, is Aparajita Sangeeta. Um, uh, and Aparajita is actually um, a media professional in her own right, as also a member of Life and Nature Safeguard Platform, LNSP. Hi, I'm Aparajita Shongita, member of LNSP. Um, LNSP means Life and Nature Safeguard Platform is to act on promoting human rights and protecting the environment, including ecology. LNSP has uh, emerged a voice to minimize people's suffering, safeguard nature or ecosystem, and propose alternative or sustainable development ideas since uh, 2018. Uh, our members are environmental activists and human rights defenders. Besides that, I am a filmmaker and human rights activist. Now I am presenting about uh, Pyra Power Plant Project. Mm, just give a minute. This is Pyra Coal Power Plant Project. Uh, location. This is the location. Pyra Coal Power Plant is located in Pyra Hub. Uh, this is one of the dirtiest and expensive mega project in Bangladesh. The project site is located just uh, beside the Pyra River and proposed Pyra Deep Seaport in Devitola Village, uh, Dhankali Union of the coastal district of Potuakhali. Um, beside that, this area is very close to sea and a very important no, migration no, no. for Hilsha fish. And this project will surely affect the production of Hilsha and other fishery resources. Now, if we look at the project details, it is uh, a 1,320 megawatt core fired power plant occupying around 1,200 acres of land in Dhankali Union. It is a category red project according to ECR 1997 and a category A project according to ESF uh, of ADB and World Bank. The implementer of this project is a Rural Power Company Limited, uh, RPCL, China Energy Engineering uh, Group Northeast, uh, Electric Power Consult uh, construction NEPC and China National Energy Engineering and Construction CECC are the EPC uh, contractors of this project. The base traffic for per unit um, electricity from this plant is still undisclosed and the project will uh, last for 22 years. As mentioned earlier, uh, it is one of the most expensive project of Bangladesh budgeting uh, 1.5 to 2 billion which BPCL will carry 30% and China Exim will contribute 70%. EQMS is the ESIA consultant for this project. Um, now the key impacts. Till date, this project has uh, created so many unmitigated problems. The public consultation is clearly denied, and people knew nothing about the next such and upcoming impacts of this project. Several people did not receive any kind of uh, compensation for these lands, crops, and livelihood damages. Most of the natural canals and river have been grabbed by the company and lost their natural flow. The air pollution is in a serious shape and most of the local inhabitants can feel the coal smoke in the air. Local livelihoods, especially the livelihoods related to natural resources, collection is already diminished. Frequent flooding is there. Frequent flooding is there because of the canal grabbing. 
and fish has lost almost half of its production than before. This is some of the major impacts of the project over there. Our community people will elaborate more on that. Thank you, thank Aparajita. You. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, and yes, as Aparajita has um, explained, um, it's a project that will take 22 years according to them, but of course, any coal fire plant has about a life of 30 years. So um, uh, whatever we are talking about the climate crisis, it's coming closer through Pyra Port. A local coordinator, who is a journalist of the daily Pratham Alo, which is like uh, the really, really big major daily in Bangladesh, widely read. Uh, so um, uh, Nesaruddin Tipu is from Patua Khali, and he is going to connect us with the affected people. The first to speak will be. So this is a nice combination of Mehdi and Duhin who work together. An affected landowner from Devpur village, Parjunia, uh, Nishanbaria Union. I am, I am a journalist. He is by my side. He is a uh, teacher by profession. His home is Parjunia in Dhankhal Union of Kalapara Upajela. There is Mr. He is a farmer by profession. His home is uh, Jaipur in Champapur region of Kalapara Upazila. There is uh, he is a farmer by profession. His home is Pajunia in Dhankal Union of Kalapara Upazila. There is a, he is a small businessman by profession. His home is Jaipur. Uh, uh, in Dankal Union of, uh, sorry, his home is uh, uh, Dankali uh, in uh, Dankal Union of Kalapara Upajela. Uh, uh, now, uh, Mr. spoke about all this. Good afternoon. I mean, Peshai Shikho, Amar Bari Paira Pondor Songlogno, Kol Bidbut, Dankali Union, Kol Bidbut, Kasakasi, Pajunia Grame, to Paira Pondor, Esir Onotomo, Bihoto Bondor Hodizace, A News, Amra Peji Potom. Unisho Duhaja Terosa. Jokon Amade Manu Kodan Mundi, Pyra Bondo Put Ashley, Shokon Kek Amra Ashley Pyra Bondo Potata, Balo for a Bustesia. To Pyra Bondo ni onek shop number the Kichi, Divin Murakum Potter Shunichi, the Ashole a Pyra Bondo area of a DP New Year, Singapore, or the Kankar Manusra, Eto Eto Halot Hagbe, the Zimun Tatarman, Eto Halot Hagbe. ভালো হবে এটা চিন্তা করা যায় না তো এর কিছুদিন পরেই আমরা শুনলাম ধানখালিতে পর পর চারটি তাপবিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রের জন্য ধানখালি চম্পাপুরের চারটি তাপবিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রের জন্য অর্থাৎ বরাদ্দ হয়েছে বা প্রস্তাবনা হয়েছে প্রথমে নর্থ ওয়েস্ট 1000 একর জমি অধিগ্রহণ করেছে যেটা সিনের সাথে তারা চুক্তি করেছে সিন কনস্ট্রাকশন Construction for a say among the invest for a say. So, she can take a terror of beach megot with good put by on hobby. So, airport in Manoni, Pudan Munti Japon, Udon Potashlin, a kind of Abashon Guloka shop net chicana, and Amaja Abashon Tahoe. So, she can a pinny bullets in Okana Aro Terror of Megot with the Pudan Potter. The Taurus Abbey show are a northwest. Company, who can take a chashwekur, Simmons Company, Zamani Simmons Company, as a sell this, it's a shaker zumi, Jacanada, a short tissue megawatt, a LNG could be. It's her asukane solar among wind, emile, desho, megawatt. Sharbopori, 
ওই নর্থ ওয়েস্ট একটা প্রজেক্ট থেকে প্রায় ৬৫০ কি ৬৪০ মেগাওয়াটের মতো প্রডিউস হবে যার একশো মেগাওয়াট অলরেডি প্রডিউসে যাচ্ছে তারা এবং সেখান থেকে যে পরিমাণ কোল ডাস্ট বের হচ্ছে তা তো আমরা দেখতেই পাচ্ছি এরপরে আরপিসিএল শুনলাম আরপিসিএল হবে আরপিসিএল এর কাজকর্ম শুরু হয়ে গেছে সেটা চায় না उत्तोलन करते पे अर्थात घर बाड़ी क्षय क्षति सामथिंग किस सेंा कल्याण संस्था नाम पायरा बंदर जेटी सब मिले प्राय साढ़े चार हजार एकर जमी अधिग्रहण लोक जन सबा मिले मिसे विभिन्न रकम अर्थात गणतानिक अधिकार गो पत्र पत्रिकाय धानखाली प्रधानमंत्री बार बार बोले तीन फसल जमी ने प्रधानमंत्री मिनिमाम षोलो साल साल प्रधानमंत्री बर बार ही तीन फसल फसल जमी ने जमीन तीन फसल बार बार प्रिंट इलेक्ट्रिक मीडिया भाई सहाजे कथा गो हायर अथरिटी के जाना चेष्ट कर सरकार बनखाली चम्पापुर जमी मैं और धानखाली मंत्री जनब महबूब रहमान तालुकदार उन्नी सार्टिफाई कर धान खाल जमी तीन फसल कृषि मानवबंधन कर मानवबंधन कर लारक दल डिसी महोदय के राष्ट्रीय आईन ए प्रधानमंत्री निर्देशनिग्रहण तो उन्नी सरजमी देखते जाबारक दिए जमीटा जो भाव अधिक्रहण ना जाए 
তিন ফসলি জমি অর্থাৎ ধান খালির যতটুকু জমি আছে টোটালটাই নিয়ে যাওয়া হচ্ছে এবং ম্যাপ থেকে বাংলাদেশের ম্যাপ থেকে ধান খালিটাকে একটা মুছে দেওয়ার একটা চেষ্টা হচ্ছে একটা বিশেষ কুচক্রি মহল তাদের স্বার্থ আদায়ের জন্য এই गवर्नमेंटকে অর্থাৎ माननीय প্রধানমন্ত্রীকে আড়াল করে এখানে তিন ফুট মোনা পানিতে নিমজ্জিত থাকে এই মর্মে তার কাছে নিয়ে এই অধিগ্রহণগুলো করানো হচ্ছে তো যাই হোক আমরা এখানে মানুষের যে কি পরিমাণ ক্ষয়ক্ষতি হচ্ছে সেটা আর কি বলবো আমরা যদি কোনো কাজ করতে যাই অর্থাৎ তাদেরকে আমাদের এই রাষ্ট্রীয় যে নির্দেশনাগুলো আছে আইনগুলো আছে সেগুলো বলতে যাই তখন আমরা বিভিন্ন মামলার সম্মুখীন হই আমাদেরকে মিথ্যা মামলা দিয়ে হয়রানি করে আমি কলেজের প্রাইম সরকারি প্রাইমারি টিচার অথচ প্রত্যেককে মামলা দিয়েছে আমরা কোনো কথাই বলতে পারি না আর ক্ষয়ক্ষতি এখানে মানুষজন জমি জমার টাকা পয়সা তো পাচ্ছে না বলেই চলে পাচ্ছে না বলেই চলে বিভিন্ন রকমের ক্লেম কমপ্লেন ডিসি অফিসে দিয়ে একটা দালাল চক্র এবং ডিসি অফিসের লোকজনের সাথে জড়িত থেকে এই কৃষকদেরকে কিভাবে তাদের ক্ষয়ক্ষতির মূল্যটা যাতে না পায় সেরকমের পায় তারা সবসময় চলে আর এখানকার মানুষের জীবিকা আসলে তো ছিল শুধু কৃষি ছিল শুধু কৃষি আর ছিল মাছ ধরা অর্থাৎ জেলে দুইটাই এখন শেষ মানুষজন বেশিরভাগই দিশেহারা হয়ে বাড়ি ঘর হারিয়ে হেরিবাদে হেরিবাদে আশ্রয় নিয়েছে আর কর্মসংস্থান বলতে আসলে এখানে আমাদের এখানে কর্মসংস্থান নাই বলি আমাদের আমাদের কর্মসংস্থান নাই অর্থাৎ এখানে শ্রমিক আনা হচ্ছে সেই সিলেট থেকে আনা হচ্ছে দিনাজপুর থেকে আমাদেরকে ওখানে কাজে নিয়ে তারা আলিবাবা অর্থাৎ চোর বলে বিদায় করে দিচ্ছে অর্থাৎ আমরা এখানে ভুক্তভোগী পরিবার গুলো ওখানে কর্মসংস্থানে কোনোই সুযোগ পাচ্ছি না দু একটা চা পাচ্ছি তাদেরকে আলিবাবা বলে বের করে দিচ্ছে আর পরিবেশ নদীর যে ক্ষতিটা হচ্ছে এখানে আমরা ছোট সময় এখানে ডলফিন দেখতে নদীর রাবনাবাদ চ্যানেলে যেতাম এখন ডলফিন তো নাই মাছই নাই পুটি মাছও নাই আর এই যে এখানে আপনার ওই যে মেঘনার ভোলার যে অব্যবাহিকা যেখানে ইলিশের প্রজনন কেন্দ্র আর আমাদের এই যে রাঙ্গাবালি এবং এই যে রাবনাবাদ চ্যানেল প্রজনন কেন্দ্র ইলিশের এটা একেবারেই শেষ কারণ তাপের তাপের যে গরম পানি এবং বজ্রটা যাচ্ছে নদীতে সেখানে মাছ আর ঢুকতেছে না আর চিমনিতে আপনার যে পরিমাণ ধোয়া বের হচ্ছে ছয়শ বিশ মেগাট চালু হওয়ায় তাতে আমাদের এলাকার গাছগুলোতে এই যে কোল ডাস্ট এবং গাছের পাতা গুলো কালো কালো হয়ে যাচ্ছে কোল ডাস্টের কারণে মানুষের শিশুতে বয়স্কদের ফ্যাসমা অলরেডি শুরু হয়ে যাচ্ছে তারা এখনই আমরা হাঁপানি আর ফসল বিশেষ করে নারিকেল গাছে দেখা যাচ্ছে যে নারিকেল গুলো ছোট হয়ে যাচ্ছে আর ভাই একটু সংক্ষেপ করে দিন মানে ওজন হওয়া দরকার তখন বৃষ্টিটা হচ্ছে না আর হচ্ছে আপনার ওই যে অসময় অর্থাৎ আগে বৃষ্টি হচ্ছে এখানে যে সিজনাল যে ব্যাপারটা আর এলাকার মানুষের এই এই ক্ষতিগ্রস্ততার দিক থেকে এলাকার মানুষ যে দাবি গুলো করতেছে সেই কিছু দাবি আপনাদের মাধ্যমে আমি তুলে ধরতে চাচ্ছি আমাদের এলাকার মানুষের যে দাবি গুলো আমার প্রথম এবং প্রধান দাবি আমি সকল জায়গায় স্মারক দিয়েছি মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রীকে দিতে পারেন আমি একটা আকুল আবেদন লিখেছি আমি আপনাদের মাধ্যমে মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রীর কাছে আমার চিঠিটা আমার আকুল আবেদনটা পৌঁছে দিতে চাই আর মাত্র ছয় হাজার একর ধান খালি ইউনিয়ন থেকে তিনটা তাপ বিদ্যুৎ হয়েছে আর কোনো তাপ আর যেন আর কোনো যেন তাপ বিদ্যুতের জন্য এখান থেকে অধিগ্রহণ করা না হয় সে মর্মে আমাদের আকুল আবেদন আমাদেরকে বর্তমান মূল্যে যাতে ক্ষতিপূরণটা দেয় এর জন্য আমাদের জোর দাবি আবেদন ঘর পুকুর গাছপালা জমি কোনটির মূল্য কত তা জনসাধারণের মাঝে এটা সাধারণ কৃষক টাকা পাচ্ছে না টাকা নিয়ে যাচ্ছে দালাল চক্র এবং ডিসি অফিসের বিভিন্ন প্রকার কিংবা ডিসি অফিসের লোকজন বা তাদের কাজ সাথে কারণে আমরা একেবারেই সর্বশান্ত পথে বিকারি হয়ে যাচ্ছি দাদা দাদা 
खूब सुंदर has really given us a passionate overview of the entire pyra area and then specific on this project and this is not just someone who is talking and presenting it is someone who has uh, fought uh, and he's gone from pillar to post and that is why that passion and that frustration that we could so clearly hear and uh, and that our hearts respond to uh, nibedita would you um, translate for those who didn't understand what he was saying um, in english uh, it would be difficult for me because he spoke so boldly and such a vigorous vision it's very hard to translate Yes, he covered okay, so I'll... much ground and with so much passion, and there was so much information too. Yes, I will try to point out the information. Only it's not possible to translate his aspects. Okay, and he mentioned uh, that uh, he is a prime a school teacher. Um, besides, he is an activist, and uh, in twenty thirteen, he first um, heard about the. power plant when the pm came to um open the uh, the port pyra port and then uh, they heard that this area will become a sing a singapore that living standard will become high to the for the locals so they had a big hope and then uh, afterward they have heard about the uh, four more power plants Uh, already hundred uh, thousand acre of land were acquired in uh, for the one thousand three hundred twenty megawatt power plant, and afterward the PM came and again they heard about another power plant, and the uh, and in total they were planning for six thousand four hundred megawatt uh, electricity production, so. he mentioned that uh uh few people very few people get the compensation and among the 6000 acre uh, land 4500 acres are already uh, acquired for the power plants and um, very few people are getting compensation which is also not adequate he mentioned and uh, he they protested against these power plants uh mm, he they called the media the electronic and print media to um uh, complain about the to to make a coverage of their procession uh, and they got the coverage because their plants he mentioned that their land is a uh, three crops land which is uh, the prime our uh, prime minister repeatedly urged uh, more than 100 times in different speeches in different uh, um, places that three crops or two crops lands should not be taken for any industrial purpose or any power plants but it is happening here so uh, they are violating the agricultural land Pro conservation act 
maybe and uh, and they are violating the some other uh, um, acts which are to be um, are to protect the arable lands and they tried to reach the higher authority through the media but they failed uh, and he mentioned that the village uh, is uh, agricultural zone declared by the local uh, local administration and they declared that this this area is 94 percent arable uh, uh, but still the land is they're they're losing their lands uh, to the power plant and the so-called development uh, establishment and the local administration officials promised that uh, when the Northwest Power Plant was established, the local administrations, administration officials promised them that this is the last, and uh, after that, no more land acquiring in this area, but still they're losing their lands. And they reported that the land is, uh, okay, uh, when uh, next land acquisition started, they reported that this area is completely inundated and which is under three feet under underwater and saline water which is completely a, a lie and um, uh, rather this land is very fertile what it, uh, as far he mentioned and illegal lawsuits were charged to the uh, locals to harass them and compensation is very poor fisheries is destroyed people are jobless uh, no more dolphins uh, okay, another very important issue that he raised is uh, their area uh, in this village. They have the, they have a corridor for the hill surface, which is ever, which plays a very significant role in Bangladesh economy. And uh, yeah, and uh, so there is a corridor from the uh, uh, sea to the river. When the spawning uh, during the spawning season, hillsa came to the river from the sea. And uh, this village, there is a corridor which is completely uh, now polluted uh, due to the power plant. And um, they're uh, releasing a huge amount of um, water which are withdrawn for the power plant. And when they're getting released, it is uh, with the varying temperature. So the temperature of the river is not adequate uh, for the hills to spawn anymore. And the plankton, which is very important for the uh, hills of fishes, um, is getting destroyed. That is why it is not, um, they are not getting any more hills in this area. Uh, he mentioned that the asthma uh, for the children and uh, elderly people are, are suffering from asthma and breathing problem. And uh, he demanded uh, 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 almost eight to 10 points to the PM through this program that no more power plant, no more land acquisition, proper compensation. Uh, compensation should be given according to their uh, positions, like not only for land, like their um, source of protein, like they had uh, ponds, they had uh, trees uh, um, from where they get their fruits, vegetables and woods. So they should be compensated for all of them. And uh, and when they come, uh, even though the compensation is very poor, uh, it, still they uh, had to uh, pay a, a, a huge amount of uh, their compensation to, to receive their compensation because they have to bribe uh, every state, and uh, so it should be. Um, uh, stopped and locals are evicted from the land and water air pollution he demanded the water pollution and air pollution should be reduced and the policymakers should consult properly with the experts and uh, so so far i remember this is it thank you Thank you so much nivedita i know it was a difficult task and you've managed to do it um, so, was really, um, I mean, he's a frontline activist and he's brought it so tellingly close to all of us. Thank you. Uh, and next, we'll go to 
Kapoor, who is an affected landowner from Devpur village, the same village as uh, which is, of course, in Parjunia Nishan Barya Union. Amar Bari Depur, Amadir Jomi, Tinko Soli Jomi, Sulan Agi, Amar Bokta, Rotombari Bolegese, Borishal Bibagi Vitor, Dan Kali, Shabek, Dan Kali, Keduibagi Vibok Togar, Champa Pura, Dan Kali, Amade Sulana, Samputi, Tinko Soli, Eighteen Kosoli Jomi Roka Kotezaya. Duyazar Solo Staloite Mamla Ramboi is the visit. Hazar Hazar located Bita DCS Bolechilo, Nepri Adesh by the Javena, are Tim Posolijomiar, Dan Kali Champa Purgun in Yazavena. Tarporo Barbar, Asugunzo Power Plant, Seamade, Dalla, Contona Barbar, Tabang Missile Meeting at Taraboli, Nepti de Se, Nepti Dereta. Kaskore Wagosri. ওদের মত কিছু লোক যেমন শয়তান ইবলিস বহু রূপ ধারণ করতে পারে তাই এদের পিছে এমন কিছু লোক আছে যারা বহু রূপ ধারণ করে এবং এই প্রধানমন্ত্রীর কথা কোনে আমাদের কিছু সাথী ছিল ওই সময় আমার সাথীরা তক্কু ধরার পর এলোসাকা এবং আশুগঞ্জ পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্টের লোকের সাথে ধাক্কা ধাক্কি ঘষা ঘষি এবং কিছু মারপিট হয়েছিল আইস দেবপুরের এমন একটা মহল্লা Shakrista got it, Pythista got it, Taka, at the years. Kesir Porkis, Kesir Porkis, one a one nine. I had the Nage, Ami Champa Puri Union, Purisho, the chairman, Mamma, been to the Luderis at the Manu Junior, Borsicilla, Evangami Bolicilla, Kano, a Guri Pishokir, Gori Rupra, Bari Rupri, Gathi Rupri, Sight Shotur Bosur Park, Kano Akun, Kis Naolo. Kano Aku put in Amanalo, Kano Aku Bikat Julida Holo, Kishir Juno, Sermon Bolsejanin, Evangara Case Corte, say Ibli Satan, the Raburu Darun Kore, say Ibli Satan Bolsilogama with Chutu Parsen, Taka de Vami Bolisilam Ceremonian Office, Sarkari Nium Sara Amra Kono Dalalke, Kono Kutniti Amra Taka de Bona, Amra Koto Dalaton Frakaru. Jomi to niche niche, Jomi for Mamla, Shedi Namisila, Borishal Bibeo Commissioner, Rafso Production Simple, Nalashadi Namisila back number Asan, Tara Portugal, Amade Saturday, Jabin Dine, Kola Paradia Dahane, Daka Hai could together Rabin Koroche, Shake Sako no Porto Madefoli, Amade Lokere Akaya Rekia. As Amade Jomi Odi Grun Koroche, As Tara Tadir Koti Bruno Dana, Ami Edarjoner Sande Namchi, Amar Kono Gadurai, Aspurjon to Lutisda Hainai, Kononakari Hainai, Tara Boli, Nikio Kutai Dai, Kutai Taki. Eromo Sanke de Sayo Sakagonare Dojo Bishopanbo, Ami Janina, Kano Gori Kishaki Rupeato Nijato, Kiro Kano Kishaki. Odikaron Horo Korahochi, Kano, Kishijun, Loko Loko Mabuni Rijoti Binimai, Loko Loko Bin Mukti Judar Rakte Binimai de Shadin Hoyte, into the Shadin Hoyte, Ano Kotipai, Mirjapuri, Bongshodarati, Eder Jatudin, Bangladesh Sharkar Podhan Montri, Bichar Ayatin Anti Barbe, Otudin Nishahai Manu, or Shahai Abustai for a tag. Thank you, thank you, Dada. Um, ha, Nasruddin, uh, thank you. Um, uh, there's something in the in the soil there at Pyra that makes them um, so so articulate. Yes, um, Nibedita, if you could translate for all of us. Yeah, mainly he he quoted the previous speakers. The main demands and main points are more or less the same. Uh, he mentioned that um, he has 18 members in his family and he only afforded to feed them and to give them proper education through this three crops land. And this three crops land is being taken by this power plant uh, despite the Prime Minister's several repeated urge 
not to take this uh, three crops or two crops land and um he uh, yeah Purulis, he he mentioned the same demands that they want the proper compensation and even the compensation is very poor they want it want to receive their money without bribing anywhere and um he demanded that locals should be consulted uh, after uh, every time when the land is to uh, be acquired and he begged that um, he begged to reach his voice to the prime minister and to the proper authority uh, where they could make a change and they went back their three crops land and he was crying to say that that he want to do his uh, he's a farmer he want back his three crops land and he wants his uh, fisheries and everything yeah and he mentioned that the uh, soil is so fertile in this area the watermelon the um, mung dal which is a sort of lentils uh, is is very famous among the country so he he wanted justice that's Thank you so much, Nivedita, and thanks to all the people who spoke from Paira and to Nasiruddin who brought uh, the Pairaites to us and what their emotion and their, um, their frustration and sufferings. Thank you. Um, we now go to uh, another coal fired power plant that most of us actually know. Uh, have been associated with some kind of protest against it uh, because it affects something which is uh, a living resource which is dear to so many of us and so important for um, all of humanity. We go to Rampal and the coal power plant that is planned there that has begun to be constructed. Uh, it's a 1320 megawatt coal power plant in the Shampari area under Rampal Upazila in Bagirhat, which is around 13 kilometers north of the Sundarbans mangrove forest, which of course needs no um, introduction. Uh, this power plant is co-sponsored by the Bangladesh Power Development Board, the BPDB, and India's NTPC, the National Thermal Power Company Limited. The project is financed by Exim Bank of India and Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, BHEL. India is the, um, so the EPC contracting is all done by Indian firms. Uh, the German-based firm Fitchner Consulting Engineers Limited is the owner's engineer uh, of this power project. There are many other companies uh, related with the project, such as, such as Afcon's uh, Infrastructure Limited, which is the engineering consultant, Bengal Tools Limited, EPC, um, which is constructing the coal conveyor belt. Uh, there's Dredging Corporation of India Limited, dredging the channel of the Pasur River. Uh, there's Power Mech Projects Limited as the coal transport consultant, etc., etc. So a brief on the project, who better than Gaur Ranga Nandi, who is Chairperson, Center for Environment and Participatory Research and a very, very senior journalist in Bangladesh. Gauranga Dham. Uh, thank you very much, Ibidda. And all the participants, uh, uh, good evening, good afternoon also. Uh, good night. Uh, good good night. Night. There something. could be some people from Australia. So good night, oh. over there. Uh, uh, actually, as Bidda says, the Rampal, uh, maybe the all over the country who are actually uh, know about the power system, they know the name of the Rampal because uh, in Rampal power plant, we are talking about more and more, and some protest has been uh, in our country and all over the world also. Uh, because just a location, uh, we know the Rampal is situated every time I uh, share this screen, just a minute. Uh, 
actually the rampal is situated is very close to the you know the mangrove forest sundarbans sundarbans uh that is why the all the uh environmentalist and the people in our country and the friends of all, all of uh, the world concerned about that among their saying uh, uh, their saying uh against uh against actually uh the situation and observation uh now the presentation you showing in this is the rampal rampal core power plant that is the yes this situation you see this is the osur river which is this one and this is the area of the sundarban state and this is the sundarban this is the coal power plant coal may be imported the authority uh, are saying if maybe from the australia and another country uh, maybe they will use the navigable channel the mongla port which channel is gone into the sundarbans total over the 70 nautical miles totally gone into the sundarbans i uh, hear some information about the capacity 1320 megawatt land acquisition have already done 1834 acres category category a but rate according to the bangladesh environment production rules 1997 A sponsor company Bangladesh Power Development Board (BPDB) and National Thermal Power Company Corporation (India), uh, a standard charter bank insurance company, and an EPC contractor, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. Uh, project period 25 years, mainly fuel. Uh, we have said before coal. Uh, financing ekdim bank of india 70% and government of bangladesh 50% now the status of this uh, station the construction work is going on but this capacity actually the uh, 30 1320 megawatt it's that two different two unit 660 and 660 uh they are constructing first phase 660 megawatt uh, actually now is the un under construction but uh we are assuming but not sure maybe government rethinking uh, about the second phase of this uh, power plant which is not actually that deep cleared but they are thinking we have uh, we have heard uh, but not that uh, not the decision is sure not the disclosed of open this or plant uh what is the impact key impact key impact is the it really we are saying the faulty and intentional public consultation is not available the compensation is a problem as we heard the uh, people of the matarbari area also and the Paira half peoples, as said, they they are not getting the proper compensations. Uh, here is that also that, and uh, here is the canal and river, also the uh, not only the actually the grabbing, but we are worried about the uh, hot water, the uh, the uh, power plant uh, taking the water. and they uh, need the hot water 
which will be mainly impacted on the biodiversity of the rivers and the Sundarbans mangrove forest area. And the livelihood, livelihood, because all we know uh, the uh, flame of the coal, as earlier mentioned, the Mother Bell peoples uh, and the Pairaha, uh, they already. 660 megawatt plant is started to begin the plane and smoke is the very high rate. And it's also that problem uh, is in this area. Uh, people's environmentalist and uh, not only in our country, all over across the all over the world. Uh, people are concerning this project, but project uh, going on, construction is going on, but is the one phase, one unit. Uh, we will, uh, some of the victims are here, we um, here to what their feelings or the they are saying for the six. Uh, thanks for attention. Thanks from my side. Uh, good evening, good side. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, Dada. Thank you. Um, and now we go to the local coordinator for us in um, Rampal, uh, Noor Alam Sheikh, who's a journalist and a civic movement leader in Mongla, Bagheer Khat. Um, he will get us to speak first, uh, who is an affected landowner and the convener of the Rampal Krishi Jomi Rokha Committee, which means uh, Farm Land Protection Committee. So, Noor Alam Sheikh, can you hear me? I am Sheikh Muhammad Noor Alam. I am an environmental activist, journalist. I am a um, member of uh, Life and Nature uh, Safeguard uh, Platform. Uh, I am also a container uh, Papa Bagra District Committee. I am sure they to measure a person who is 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 Tel Gash Committee, uh, Shodosho Hochi, uh, the Karana made a host silam, a host Takar Karode, Amake Prothome, the College of New uh, Horkota Chila, Amake Shetty, Bondo Kore, the Sharkari, Sharkari, Kotaki Sharkari, Dole, uh, Pokotek. Tarpore, we had an Unishal, Botabosor, Amade, a pan to the Shurakamunso, Tade, the Gonoshana, who wished to Aisha, Gonoshana, the Bokita Diar Karole, Amar Shangbadikotar Chakri Jolaja, independent television, Jolaja Bangladesh, Amar Amadeke, Hunki Danki, Hilosta, if you put in a day. Hi, and a particular stupid in the room that say, Unano activist trao, I said, Tarao, other Kotaki street, Pule, Kitami Kushuti, Amar Kotabunila, Amar Pula Bak Shadinadane, Eti Kasibadi, Rashto, Rajatu Kaim Pulia, Dekarana, Amra, Amadar Angulan Kota, Amadar Amadar. Motamot, Amrai, Ekane, Dita Barina, Amra Bodavarina. So she shall share with the Amra, Rampal, we are to a kind of hobby, Rampal, we do get a kind of hobby, eight Kushna Harpot, what body in a dear show. There shall be the Shilpo Kalkana, I can a potish to Hegelo, about eighty with the Ekanamudi, Bangon, Sisti Kurtose, Karamudi, Dushan, Botse, Nanaha, it was a shooter for a government threat, Sisti Hotse. Kudaran, Abishagula, Amadaka, Putinoto, Akoni Shunda, Hukapurate, Kanta Manusha, John Jibun, Evang Jibika, and Hukim with the already with the Purheg, it's a Rampal Januha for a Ask Shakale and Kotabolachan Rampal with the deputy project director, Rejal Kormeshat, Tini Bulas, fifty percent cars in the Vedish Shreds, Evang, Dhadan Ekushal, Eti, Chaluha Rampal, with the Jendo, Jarakame, Ark Kotabola, China, I mean, now I declare. Deliver his speech, uh, Mr. Uh, his uh, Rampal Agricultural Land Protection Committee and 
he is uh, affected uh, land owner uh, mr now i request his please deliver his his please ग्रस्त मानुष कान्ना रोल कारण जमी अधिक्रमण शुद्ध धान पोड़ान सकल मानुषार चेष्टा कर मूल समस्या जे टा दिए टा दी एक बीघा जगह काटा जैगा शहर एक घुष दी पशापी एक जमी टा तुलते गलाल सेट कर मामला दिए तक मिट आप कर जमी चारिपे चरे बसबाज करत खोज कथा के एक चाकुरी दे चाकुरी तो दूर कथा कोथाथे पुलिस माननीय प्रधानमंत्री कृषि बान्धव सरकार तो दो फसल जो धान मस है गुरु चाष है खे पड़े जीवन जापन कर क्षतिपूरण देखा दाल चक्र तुरोध करा जनगण जनगण गणशुनानी गणशुनानी हंड्रेड पार्सेंट जनगण बहुत चाहना जमी टाक पाई क्षतिपूरण दिए बाजते अथचारा फलाफल जनगण पक्ष कि दलाल सेट कर सारा बांगलेश चलते अपनारा रक्षा करण के रक्षा करते 
আমরা যাতে স্বাধীনতা পাই কথা বলা পাক শক্তি রোহিত হয়ে গেছে বাংলাদেশের মানুষ আমাদের কথা বলার ভাষা নেই কেউ রাস্তায় দাঁড়িয়ে বলতে পারি না এটা অপরাধ আমাদের মারতেছে সালাম দিয়ে চলে আসতে হচ্ছে পেটু বাহিনী তৈরি হয়েছে পুলিশ বাহিনী তৈরি হয়েছে র্যাব তৈরি হয়েছে আমরা নিরুপায় আমাদেরকে রক্ষা করুক আমাদের এই কৃষি জমি তো রক্ষা হবে না মাটি ভরাট হয়েছে আমরা যাতে ন্যায্য হিস্যা ক্ষতিপূরণ করতে পারি আমাদের যারা কৃষকরা পায়নি তারা যাতে পায় বিশ্ববাসীর কাছে আমার এই দাবি তাদেরকে এই ক্ষতিপূরণ পাওয়াটার ব্যবস্থা করুন আপনাদের সাথে আমরা আসি আমরা জীবন দিও আমিও জীবনের ভয় পাই না আমি একটি হিন্দু মানুষ আপনারা বিদেশি যারা আছেন আমাদের সংখ্যালঘু বলে আমি সংখ্যালঘুদের মধ্যে থেকে এই আন্দোলন আমার হাত দিয়ে তৈরি হয়ে আজ পর্যন্ত চালিয়ে যাচ্ছি আপনার সাথে দেখলে আমরা অবশ্যই অবশ্যই আন্দোলন আমাদের মাথায় যাবে এবং আমাদের কৃষকরা আমাদের যারা ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত মানুষ তারা তারা বাঁচবে পাশাপাশি আসল যে কথা ছিল আমাদের যে কয়লা ভিত্তিক তেরোশো বিশ মেগাট কয়লা ভিত্তিক তাপবিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্র হলে যে এয়ার পলিউশনটা হবে যে বায়ু দূষণ হবে তার ফলে সুন্দরবন ধ্বংস আর সুন্দরবন ধ্বংস হলে আমাদের এই দক্ষিণ অঞ্চলের মানুষ মরে যাবে ঝড় যে পরিমাণ আমফান তারপরে শিডর আইলা আসে আমাদেরকে সুন্দরবন গুড়তে মায়ের মতো আগলে রাখে যে সুন্দরবন ধ্বংস হবে আর যে কথা শুনেছি পরিবেশবাদী পরিবেশবাদী পরিবেশের কোনো ছাড়পত্র দেয় নেই গাছ ধরে পরিবেশবাদীকে ধরে নিয়ে পরিবেশের ছাড়পত্র নিয়েছে হাইকোর্টে মামলা করেছিলাম জোর করে মামলা উঠাতে বাধ্য করেছে মামলায় কোনো শুনানি হয়নি আর যেদিন বিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্র উদ্বোধন হয়েছিল আমরা বলেছিলাম আমরা কালো দিবস ঘোষণা করেছিলাম যে যদি বিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্র হয় আমাদের রক্তের উপর দিয়ে হতে হবে সেদিন চুয়াডাঙ্গায় বসে মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী শেখ হাসিনা এবং ভারতের প্রধানমন্ত্রী মনমোহন সিং দুজন ভিডিও কনফারেন্সের মাধ্যমে রামপাল বিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্র উদ্বোধন করেছিলেন এ হচ্ছে মূল কাহিনী ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত আমরা সকল জনতা আঠারোশো চৌত্রিশ একর জমি গেছে দুই হাজার পরিবার কৃষিভূত পরিবার ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হয়েছে আর আমাদের সাথে যারা কর্ম করে বেঁচে থাকতো আর দুই হাজার পরিবার ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হয়েছে যে দেখার কেউ নাই অনেক অনেক বড় অসহায় আমরা আপনাদের কাছে নিবেদন আমাদের আন্দোলন যাতে আমরা চালিয়ে যেতে পারি আমরা যাতে স্বাধীনতা ফিরে পেতে পারি মানুষের পাশে দাঁড়িয়ে হত দরিদ্র মানুষের পাশে দাঁড়িয়ে তাদের সহযোগিতা করতে পারি এই আশ্বাস বা এই ভাবে আপনারা আমাদের সহযোগিতা করবেন ধন্যবাদ বিশ্ববাসীকে ধন্যবাদ সবাই ধন্যবাদ And he said that um, the local laborers, uh, uh, almost 2,000 farmers were evicted from this area who are now um, enormously suffering due to their joblessness and um, they are under yeah, enormous pain. And uh, the laborers, uh, they were promised to get job uh, and they were promised to take the employment from the local uh, locals but uh, which were not kept they were employing people from the other area of this country and uh, they raised their voice against the acquisition so they had to suffer a lot and uh, he his his own uh, crops his house were set into fire because he was uh, he was protesting against this plant and compensation are, are very uh, poor which uh, with which they cannot even uh, afford any land um, in any area and even though the poor compensation uh, they uh, have to give a, a one fourth or one fifth of their compensation as a bribe to receive the money and uh, 60 to 40 percent people even did not get their compensation people are promised to get job yeah I, that is I already mentioned but they didn't get any job and I also mentioned that there's are also two crops land and um, they cannot even afford the commodity 
and um, yeah, he demanded the, the compensation as they deserve and locals uh, should be consulted properly uh, and uh, they do not have any freedom of speech. They cannot even say anything against this injustice. So uh, he mentioned that this Shandarbons, which is a natural safeguard, a natural fence, uh, living and effective fence, uh, which is protecting the coastal belt uh, of Bangladesh from cyclones and um, heavy storms, uh, which is getting destroyed. And uh, yeah, they are, yeah, that's, I think, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Nibiru. Uh, I guess. No, tell, tell us. Oh, but you are muted. Tuhin, would you unmute Nibiru, please? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, Sheikh Noor Alam, uh, do, do I need to translate his uh, speech? Or, or he mostly said in English, I think. Yes, yes. Noor Alam spoke in English. Yes. Okay. So that's fine. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm. And now um, uh, Noor Alam, uh, Alam Sheikh will get us to speak to who is the president of the Rampal Press Club, who will um, add uh, a lot more information to what we already heard. From And now I request to deliver his speech. Now I request to deliver yes. his speech. President Rampal Press Club uh, and uh, his uh, uh, environmental activist also and journalist. I don't know what. I am. That's on Songbat Kormi among the British. সর্বশেষ আমাদের রামপাল তাপবিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রের সর্বশেষ অবস্থা দিয়ে আমি আমার বক্তব্যটা শুরু করতে চাই এখানে गवर्नमेंटের সঙ্গে ভারতের সরকারের একটা চুক্তি ছিল যে অধিকাংশ মানুষ রামপালের তাপবিদ্যুৎ তাপবিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রে যারা কাজ করবেন তারা অধিকাংশ মানুষ বাংলাদেশী হবে কিন্তু মজার ব্যাপার হলো এবং দুঃখজনক ঘটনা হলো যে আপনার অধিকাংশ ভারতীয়দের এই তাপবিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রে কাজ করানো হয় এক দুইজন হাতে গোনা লোক শুধুমাত্র বাংলাদেশি আছেন যারা বিভিন্ন সময় আয়া ঝাড়ুদার বা বাগানের মালের কাজ করে থাকেন আর বাদ বাকি সব ভারতীয় নাগরিক এই ভারতীয় নাগরিকরা করোনাকালীন সময়ে পাঁচ দফা আন্দোলন করেছে তারা বাড়িতে চলে যাওয়ার জন্য তাদের বেতন দেওয়া হয় না তাদের খেতে দেওয়া হচ্ছে না তাদের পরিবারের সঙ্গে যোগাযোগ করতে দেওয়া হচ্ছে না এই নিয়ে আমরা অবশ্য ওখানে সরজমিনকে অনেকগুলো রিপোর্টও করেছি এবং সরজমিন গিয়ে ভিডিও করেছি ছবি নিয়েছি আর এই তাপবিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্র নিয়ে আমরা প্রথম থেকে আপনার আন্দোলন শুরু করেছি যাতে অত্যন্ত সুন্দরবনের কাছে বিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রটা না হয় তো এই বিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রের যে জায়গাটা এই জায়গাটার একটা ভৌগোলিক ব্যাখ্যাটা আপনাদের দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করি প্রথম সেটা হলো যে এই জায়গাটা হলো যে একটা জলাভূমি এবং এখানে কৃষি আপনার ধান উৎপাদন হতো মাছ উৎপাদন হতো এবং এই জলাভূমির আশপাশ দিয়ে যতগুলো নদী এবং ছোট ছোট খাল ছিল সেই খালগুলো পরাট করে দিয়ে আপনার এই বিদ্যুৎ কেন্দ্রটা আসলে করা হচ্ছে তো এই নিয়ে আমরা যখন কথা বলেছি তখন আপনার আমাদেরকে বিভিন্ন ভাবে আমাদের কণ্ঠরোপ করার চেষ্টা হয়েছে আমাদের কথা বলতে দেওয়া হয়নি এবং আপনি অফ দা রেকর্ড আমার জানা মতে একশো চুয়াল্লিশ দ্বারা জারি করা হয়েছে চোদ্দবার যা আমরা চোদ্দবার একশো চুয়াল্লিশ দ্বারা সম্মুখীন হয়েছি দেশি বিদেশি আমাদের যারা পরিবেশবাদী নেতৃবৃন্দ আছেন সবাই এই আপনার কর্মকাণ্ড করতে গিয়ে যে বিভিন্নভাবে মারপিটে শিকার হয়েছেন হয়রানি শিকার হয়েছেন আর এখনো পর্যন্ত প্রাপ্ত তথ্যে আমাদের যতটুকু আমরা জানি যে ষাট জন ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত পরিবার এখনো টোটাল মানে মানে ক্ষতিপূরণ পাননি এবং ক্ষতিপূরণ পেতে জটিলতা হয়রানি ঘুষ নেওয়ার অভিযোগ যা গণমাধ্যমে ইতিমধ্যে প্রকাশিত হয়েছে হামলা মামলা ভয়ভীতি সাংবাদিক হিসাবে আমাদের কণ্ঠকে রোধ করার চেষ্টা হয়েছে 
जलाभूमि रक्षार्थे रामपाल ताप विद्युत केंद्र बंद करते ही विद्युत प्रयोजन क्योंकि सुंदरबन ध्वस कर सार्विक भाव देशी विदेशी अपना जरादोलन कर सुंदरबन जो ध्वस है सुंदरबन जो ना थे तो आलोचन अंश ग्रहण कर सूझ देर डिस्ट्रय Of course, for our interpretation, we go to Nibedita. Um, he spoke mostly about um, the employment and which they were promised to get job uh, after this power plant, but uh, which was not kept. And uh, the people are um, from different, mainly from India, are getting their job. In, uh, more, very few Bangladeshi are working there, but as uh, a cleaner or a fourth grade job. And he also mentioned that uh, this, the land uh, which were acquired, um, was also a um, two crops land. Uh, they used to grow uh, paddy uh, fisheries, um, so which is uh, which is now um, destroyed. And uh, canals are filled, which are the, um, which are designed to drain the flood water and rainwater. So uh, the canals are, are filled. And uh, he also mentioned that uh, enormous amount of harassment, uh, illegal lawsuits, um, threats, death threats, and so many are coming when they're uh, when they talk against this power plant or. Uh, when they talk for their compensation, uh, uh, almost uh, he mentioned that sixty people did not get yet any any sort of compensation. Who were living their lives, who were suffering a lot in a very inhuman condition, and uh, uh, man uh, he, and he mentioned that uh, we only have one mangrove forest, which is to be destroyed, and it should be stopped uh, immediately. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Nivedita. Thank you, uh, and uh, we really need to thank uh, Noor Alam Sheikh who uh, put everyone together. There's also a who's there uh, to supplement if needed. Convener Rampal Krishi joined me, um, Rokha Committee, and Sabur Rana, President Rampal uh, Press Club. These are people you can ask questions together uh, with those from the Kohilia area and the Pyra uh, Power Hub area. Uh, I don't see. Hmm. So uh, Azad has a question: Is there any existing community movements around Rampal? If there are, have they have they any connection with national level movements? Acha. I think uh, Noor Alam Sheikh, uh, can you tell the others this question? Apniki ode jono also translate korbin ki around 
uh, Ramphal are their existing community movements are Oder um, uh, contact and connection with national level movements against Rampal um, Kiroko Machi. I'm scanning for any more uh, questions meanwhile, um, but please feel free to put down any more questions in the chat. Hey, Sheikh. Yes. Uh, Rampalar Gurudhe, the Andolon national level, Andolon Takon, Istimito, Hoyase, Uddok, Amra, Lukukotina, Eti Sharkaran, the Puchondo, the Chao, it's too louder, it's too louder. Yes. Shundarbone, Sharkaran, the Fasibadi, Choritro, Karone. এখন কেউ মুখ খুলতে সাহস পাচ্ছে না সেরকম অবস্থায় একটা রামপালের আন্দোলনটা স্থিত হয়ে আছে যদিও এটি নানান ধরনের পেশাজীবী সুন্দরবন রক্ষা আর প্রাণ প্রকৃতি সুরক্ষা মঞ্চ তারা একটি গণশুনানি করেছে গত বছর নভেম্বর ডিসেম্বরের দিকে সেখানে একটা আলোচনা হয়েছে এবং এছাড়া Tail gas with the Bonto Rocka Jatu Committee, Tar Neta Shoshu Shoti Potapo Kamu Muhammad, Tini Putinio to Koskabu Rakin, Bangladesh Puribish Andalon, Papa, the Arao, Ibisha, Koskabu Rakin, the Andalon, the Kiboshi, the Yellow Seminar, Sipudiam, Monoshani, Shonla, Abor, the Raspotentia Andalon Shay, Andalone, Shotikar or Te, Rampal and Manush Andalon and Nemechi. It is Rampal and Manushke Pura way to Sharap Kola Javana Ekar, Jokon Rampal and Manush Andaman Nimitse, Tahon Tadar Pasikyu Chiruna, Nakuna Puribesh Badi Shangotum, Na Rasbitik Shangotum, Na Kunodaran activistra, Sudara Tara Shikan Marke, Tara Ekta Porja, Tadarke, Punta Shakurahese, Evang E Kobukuru the Hulkun media the Ashana Potika Ashana, other Pasikyu the Hun Chiruna. Polosuti Tara, the Shara Hoya, Kunti Jarmu to Hito Mustan, Portse, in the Taporo Tarai, the group, the Aparashan to the Ashen for the Shule. She to shop Chepeshin in Tati to the Aroti Mamla, the Tarbara Akundi Puyas, Taporosha Ampala, group taking to Pahaval. Amra had to go on board the Avikura Chicken, Taporo to go on board the Shaka Vitsena. The Hobbit Hobbit, I first had a Gono Port Home, Shitio, get the Akon Etani, Manushan, and Ruthas. The two Bangladesh have put the Sharkar Bitsena, and the Lord Kalidan put the Akhari Eastern Roller Punjabi to the Golden Shadina Tanai, Shakare, Andolon Takiba Hobby, to the Akhara Andolon Taporo Ami Munipoli, Jaja Andolon Takuratula Dorka, Andolon Hobby History, and the city accommodation for Prashava. Shundar Bullin, thank you. Uh, Nibedita, could you translate what uh, Sheikh Mohammed Noor Alam told us just now? I'm so very sorry, I didn't take notes, but so far I can remember. Um, uh, whatever he said is uh, the protest must go on. Uh, the, the protesters are uh, facing so many threats and uh, harassment uh, from the uh, government and the, from the authorities. So they are now at a corner, but uh, still the movement should go on. The protest should go on. We must uh, raise our voice against this injustice towards the Shrindabans. Uh, that's, uh, I think, the gist of his speech. Yes, thank you, Nibedita. Petra um, has um, a question, and she says that she was really struck with the specific impacts on women that was told regarding the first project. So actually, in Kohelia, we had um, uh, Sha, Sha, uh, Shan, I think, who spoke about the Kohelia project and the impact on women and the entire community. Uh, and from that, Petra asks, I would be interested to hear about gender specific impacts on the other two projects too, um, Pyra and uh, Rampal. Uh, does anyone want to take it from Pyra, uh, uh, either Aparajita or uh, somebody else? Yes, thank you, Azad. Ami Ami Bangla Kore Dichi Nawai. 
যখন আমরা কথা বলছিলাম পায়রা মাতার বাড়ি সম্পর্কে কোহিলিয়া সম্পর্কে তখন তারা নারীদের উপরে কি প্রভাব পড়ছে সেটা বলেছিল পায়রা এবং রামপালের ক্ষেত্রে কোন নারী যেহেতু আমরা পাইনি যদি আপনি বলেন কিংবা সুশান্ত দা বলেন যে নারীদের উপরে কি ধরনের প্রভাব পড়েছে এই পাওয়ার প্লান্টের কারণে সেটা যদি একটু परिवार उच्छेद बोझे जो उच्छेद এই যে নারী তার যে রান্নাঘরটা ঠিক করা তার চুলাটা ঠিক করা তার যে হাঁস মুরগি তার খাবার পানি তার রান্নার পানি তার শাক সবজি এই যাবতীয় তো নারীকে একটি বিরাট দায়িত্ব নিতে হয় আর এখানে যারা জীবিকা নির্বাহ করত এখানে যে চিংড়ি চাষ হোক ধান চাষ হোক বা এখানে যে খাল গুলো ছিল সেই খালেতে যে যারা আছে মাছ ধরতো বা সেখানে তারা জীবিকা নির্বাহ করতো সেখানে নারীরা এটিতে জীবিকা নির্বাহ করতো আজকে সেখান থেকে তাদেরকে বঞ্চিত করা হয়েছে বা তাদেরকে সেখান থেকে উঠিয়ে দেওয়া হয়েছে এছাড়া আজকে এখানে যে বালু ভরাট করা হয়েছে আঠারোশো ছত্রিশ একর যে বালু ভরাট করে হয়েছে এই বালু ভরাটের ফলে এখানে প্রতিনিয়ত বাতাসের ফলে বায়ু দূষণটা হচ্ছে বালিটা খাবারের মধ্যে চলে যাচ্ছে যে নারী রান্না করতেছে চুলাতে তার তরকারির মধ্যে যাচ্ছে তার বিছানা খাবার যাচ্ছে সেখান থেকে সে নির্যাতিত হচ্ছে ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হচ্ছে আর এখানে এদিকে কাজ করতে যে যে সকল যারা সরকারি যে সকল বা বাহিনী তারা এই জমিগুলো যখন অধিক্রমণ করতে গেছে বা দখল করতে গেছে তখন নারীরাই বেশি হেনস্থা হয়েছে এবং এখনো যারা হেনস্থা হচ্ছে সেই নারীরাই হচ্ছে কারণ তার মধ্যে প্রতিনিয়ত রাস্তাঘাটে চলাফেরা করতে সমস্যা হচ্ছে সুতরাং এখানে দুই হাজার মানুষের কথা বলা হয়েছে তার সাথে আরো দুই হাজার ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত পরিবারের কথা বলা হয়েছে সুতরাং চার হাজার মানুষ এই রামপাল পাল প্লান দ্বারা ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হয়েছে এবং চার হাজারের মধ্যে নারীশ এবং পুরুষ প্রায় সমানে সমানেই আছে এবং তারা এটি দ্বারা ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হচ্ছে সুতরাং আমরা মনে করি যে এখানেও নারীরা নির্যাতিত হয়েছে নিষ্পেষিত হয়েছে এবং যে ষাটটি পরিবার ষাটটি পরিবার এখনো পর্যন্ত কোন সাহায্য সহযোগিতা পায়নি যারা ওই কৈকর দাস কাঠি গ্রামে তারা বসবাস করছে এবং তাদের মধ্যে নারীরা আছে এবং তারাও সেখানে নারীরা ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হচ্ছে এবং বঞ্চিত হচ্ছে ধন্যবাদ 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 দাদা নিবেদিতা would you um, describe what he said yeah, yeah. he said that when a family is affected it is it is inevitable that the family members are not affected so women are uh, at the same time the male and female they all are uh, affected by this uh, issue and the fishers are mostly uh, in this area the fishers are mostly women who were affected Uh, largely and the pollution is uh, such an amount that uh, when they cook when they sleep their beds their uh, clothes their foods are filled with uh, the sand uh, coming from the uh, construction field and when the government hires the locals uh, most of them uh, were the women uh, so it is uh, the same amount of uh, sufferings uh, as the men and the women yes thank you nibedita he did explain um, how women disproportionately bear the negative impacts of uh, such projects we now have nasiruddin tipu again with us he's reconnected uh, from pyra so uh, nasiruddin jodi apni amaderke bolte paren narir upore ki impacts of uh, the pyra power hub hello hobby yes there he is Yes. 
হ্যাঁ নসিরুদ্দিন নসিরুদ্দিন টিপু আপনি আমাদের কি শুনতে পাচ্ছেন তো প্লিজ বলুন নারীদের উপরে কি ইমপ্যাক্ট অফ সাচ প্রজেক্টস ক্লিন ডিড উই লুজ হিম अगेन यस सीम्स दैट यस ही केम ऑन एंड देन he went off there's another um, uh, thank you to him we seem to have lost him there's another question what about the livelihood options of the fishermen communities in rampal now so we'll go back to um, nuralam are you there from rampal uh, we need this response what is what are the livelihood options for the fishermen communities or the fisher people communities because you said that half the fishing was done by women in rampal yes rampal er rampal e ekhon jara tader ke ki bikolpo motshojibider bikolpo ki pesha ache amar mone hoy ei ta proshno kora hoyeche ekhon bikolpo proshno bikolpo to kono pesha nai bikolpo je ekhon poshur nodite je mas dhorbe रामपाल विद्युत केंद्र घोषणा हर पर पशुर नदी तीर देशो शिल्प कलकारखाना हलो लाल कैटागरी शिल्प कलकारखाना हलो विकल्प पेशाधार खाल जमी छोड़ने बदली नदी माँ धरबे से उद्वस्तु मान विकल्प पेशा हलो रिक्शा चालान भैन चालान गाड़ी चालान अथवा गार्मेंट कर thank you dada uh, nibedita please the translation for us um, uh, he said that they uh, he mentioned that the river pollution uh, about the river river pollution water pollution so that they cannot the fishers cannot catch any more fishes and the dolphins uh, they cannot see any more dolphins there which they used to see before so they do not have any alternative livelihoods right now as not as a farmer not as a fisher so only choice they have uh, in front of them uh, to migrate from this area to the capital maybe as a, a garment sorter or a rickshaw puller or to go as far they do not have any choice so this is yeah the dolphins in this area are an endangered species there are very few of them left um uh, there was also the thing that um, uh, from apni ameo vigyan prison there is this question lots of references on mangroves where they um, throughout um, everyone's presentations is it possible to talk about the perceptions regarding the consequences on mangroves and the rivers it did come through in most of the talk um actually the perception and the uh, engagement with the river and uh, life around the river um, and the mangroves uh, if somebody wants to um, reflect on that please and maybe uh, somebody should do a quick translation of that question um 
but i would also request uh, international uh, bangladeshi uh, lovers like uh, petra henrique hana wakako to uh, maybe give some short solidarity messages to those um, in the communities who are fighting the impacts of such dirty energy projects on the ground would you like to say something would you like to um, you know pledge your solidarity in a sentence or two to these fighters on the ground i i can see a couple of names i can see petra i can see henry k i can see hana and wakako none of you i can see malu petra is there hi petra can you hear me yes i can I'm not sure if my video is working or not because it I is know. it is it is now and right. um, I just want to say well first of all thank you for organizing these seminars I think they've been absolutely wonderful and I think you really use this medium to the max uh, the way we should use it and um yeah wonderful thanks to you you vidya for leading us through everything and for mehdi and his team to to organizing it all and then to all the communities who spoken uh it's really touched me all these presentations we've heard and the fact that people have taken the time out and that they are opening up their hearts and being very brave um speaking out their messages and and being very frank in in the problems that they're seeing um i mean yes i so just quickly just to express my solidarity as you said um completely with all of these fights and and really encourage a continued dialogue about what we can do to help how we can best use you know our powers whatever you may call them our leverage we might have over some of the shareholders of these different banks and institutions i wanted to mention the ifc as well regarding to rampal given that they have also played a part the world banks um private sector arm in terms of enabling rampal and we have written about this in the past so we we have a close connection with rampal but probably haven't done enough lately um so really encourage us to continue the dialogue and um yeah translate the demand so that we can bring them to those that needs to hear them so i'll stop here now cuz i've talked too much but but big big thank you to you all it's been really really great this thank you you never talk too much uh, petra really but thank you so much for that solidarity and i know that you mean what you say and uh, it's very important to those of us who are very concerned about what is happening uh, in bangladesh uh thank you is there someone else henrique perhaps who would like to respond to what they've heard or hana hi pidi this is wakako oh wakako yes wakako may i just go quickly very quickly but um first of all thank you so much for the organizers to mehdi and vidya the coordinating on um, this event and also for um all the speakers the brave speakers who are here today and share their stories it's very emotional to hear these stories every time um i also attended the seminar before this um but it's really important to see the people behind these stories and it really reminds us why we are doing this work um and why we continue to pressure jaica the japanese government financial institutions and companies really to stop um doing coal projects in bangladesh and I would like to express my solidarity and to say that we will continue to fight for you and please let us know what you know people um overseas and what international organizations can do to help you. Thank you. Um yeah, so just a quick quick echoing of of these messages uh, from Mary Kier I just agree with every uh, you know what Petra has uh, said and what Kako and um as i said um you know previously also is uh that it's so important to hear the people behind these stories and to remember why we do this um so yeah all i can say is i keep following whatever you do and and see how we can support in any way and thanks very much for the organizers and for the people that speak out um because i know it's it's not it's not easy first of all and it's also 
might even be quite dangerous for some. So we really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Henrique, and thank you, Bakako. I think what Bakako said was very important that we shall continue to fight um, for um, uh, these people whose stories we've heard today. Um, Hana has also written, thank you for these webinars. It's very concerning and moving to hear these stories indeed. Um, thank you all for being here and listening in, not just um, uh, with your senses, but with your hearts. Uh, thank you. I think Ranjana Padi has raised um, a hand. And yes, Ranjana, would you like to say something? Ranjana, I think we need to unmute Ranjana. Oh, it's a mistake. Okay. Okay, Ranjana. Thank you. Shall we now ask um, uh, Jyotir Moe Barua, who is, uh, of course, uh, an advocate in the Supreme Court in Bangladesh, to please, and also uh, one of the co-hosts of um, this um, putting together of voices from the ground from affected communities across Bangladesh, um, where we get the chance to listen to Bangladesh. And thanks so much for not just listening, but also feeling along with them. Uh, Jyotir Moe Barua, we ask you to do the formal uh, thanks and closing uh, remarks is what we expect from you. Thank you, Vidya. And thank you, Growth Watch. Records, Arjual, Clientar, and all our international friends for being with us and uh, on this journey. And um, we organized our last webinar today uh, to listen to the affected people of Bangladesh. But if there be a more demand to hold further dialogue with the affected people, we will plan for listening to them again. And uh, we will extend our hand to uh, allow them to talk. As you have heard from them, there are very limited scope for them to raise their voices in the uh, in the street or in mainstream media. So this is one of uh, one of the other uh, opportunities we are trying to take and to raise our voice. And uh, we'll be uh, doing our next uh, plan to listen to the friends from the financing countries, and hopefully we will organize some series on this that what they are thinking. Um, the country friends from the financing country and what we can do together to stop these uh, uh, destructive development projects going on around the uh, country in Bangladesh and in our neighboring country in India as well and other countries. As we as can see, these are all connected. Adani, Gota Power Plan, we held uh, two, at least two uh, webinars on this particular issue. Yes, so. Um, we will be continuing our work on this. Um, I just uh, want to point to you on one particular person's uh, statement. He uh, very clearly said to you, it's Farid Talukdar from the poor, from Kolapara power plant project. In the three unions, 50% of the whole total land have been acquired just to establish this power plant by this uh, government owned uh, company. So they can't, they can't even say anything over there. I filed a writ petition for them, um, though I obtained a rule nice eye in that particular writ petition. But they are continuing their work showing disrespect to the court's order. Till now, due to the COVID situation, we could not move any further in the court. But as the court is becoming normal now, we will we'll obviously try to pursue this in the court as well. So this is just a small update from my side, and I thank you again. I'll keep it very brief, uh, because you have been listening to the people for a long, long time. Uh, started from 5 o'clock, and it's almost um, 7.35 now in Bangladesh uh, in the evening time. So I thank you again, and hope to see you again. Thank you all.